Yeah. All right, this is 5-4. We're doing completing the square. Algebra 2. <gasps> or another subject. Okay, now, first thing you know is the square root property. Okay, which essentially means, say you've got x squared equals 20. Okay, now, what you want to do is you want to get the square root of that. So therefore you do square root on both sides because that would cancel out my squared and x would equal radical 20. Now, what this says is that that can be plus or minus 20 because you've got x squared, we're essentially saying what times itself equals 20, okay? Well, not only could it be the positive version of that, it could also be the negative version. For example, let's say we've got um, x squared equals 36, okay? Now, we know that our x is what we're trying to find. Mm -hmm. 6 times itself equals 36, correct? Yes. But doesn't negative 6 times itself equal 36 as well? Yep. Yeah, because the negatives would cancel out. So whenever we do the square root of both sides, to cancel that out, x would equal positive or negative radical 36, which would simplify to six. positive or negative 6. Okay? So that's essentially that. All right? I hear some music. Y'all could turn that down to where we can't hear it. Turn that down, please. Okay? All right? Now, next thing. Um, so essentially, if we have an equation, say we've got 3x squared... Uh, minus 4 equals 68. Okay? Now, the first thing we would do is get rid of what? 4. Good job. I'm so proud of y'all. Alright, 3x squared equals 72. Okay? Now, our next thing we want to do is we want to go, go, gadget, divide by 3. Alright, and then our last step, we get the radical of both sides to get rid of the square, because the opposite of squaring is square root. They were nice enough to make those two very similar, square, square root. So we've got positive or negative, radical 24. Now, can we reduce radical 24? Is there any of the main things that go into it? 4, 9, 16, 25? Yeah, 4 goes into it, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. <coughs> so radical 24, you can split it up into radical 4 times radical 6. six. What's radical 4? 2. two. So our answer is x equals plus or minus 2 radical 6. Okay? And you're done. Cool, 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 cool. Cool beans. Cool, cool beans. Next thing we're going to talk about is completing the square. The term <coughs> in the book it says, if a quadratic expression of the form x squared plus bx cannot model a square, you can add a term to form a perfect square trinomial. It's called completing the square. Okay? So essentially what you're doing is, if you have a, a binomial, we say you've got two parts of a quadratic equation, you can do completing the square, which means you add another term and solve that for. Okay? For instance, uh, what you do is, let's say you've got x squared plus 6x. Okay? Um, now, this is a binomial because there's only two monomials here. We're missing that third part of the trinomial. So, since there's no equal sign here, so we don't have to do it to both sides, we will here in a little bit, but right now we just do what it is. Um, what we do for completing the square is you add on plus b over 2 squared. Now, if you remember from whenever we started with quadratic equations, when we started with quadratic equations, a is the number in front of the x squared, b is the number in front of the x, and c is the number that's just a constant. It doesn't have any, uh, or, yeah, it's constant. It doesn't have any x's or variables. So our b in this equation is what? <coughs> 6, because it is in front of the x. So we're going to plug in, it'll be x squared plus 6x plus, I know my b's look like 6's, so it's kind of confusing, but <laughs> guess what, I don't care. All right, so that's 6 over 2 squared. We can simplify this. 6 divided by 2 is, everybody above second grade says 3. Alright, and then x squared plus 6x, 3 squared is 9. Now, can we reduce this? Yes. Yes. Alright. Well, multiply to be 9 and add to be 6. Three. Positive 3 and positive 3. Which, if that's something by itself, what can we reduce that to? You guessed it, children. x plus 3 squared. This is why we call it 
completing the square. You are taking a binomial and essentially putting it into something that can be squared. Completing the square. Okay? Shortcut alert. When you get to this part where you do b divided by 2, we got 6, or I'm sorry, we got 6 divided by 2, which would be 3, correct? Mm -hmm. That's the number that would go right there. Oh my goodness, all that, all that math, so little time, okay? That's what's going to be that number. So if you want, once you get here, you can skip some steps and stick that right there because you know that's where it's going to be, straight up. Now tell me, do you really want to know the answer forever? Oh, oh, oh. Well, let's do an example. <laughs> That's in peace, Whitney Houston. Oh. That's not Whitney Houston. It was Paula Abdul. Okay? It's my girl. Not really. I don't know her that well. Just saying that. Okay, let's do uh, an example. How about x squared plus 4x? Okay, we don't know anymore. All right, let's say we want to work this little guy. Well, we're going to add in our b over 2 squared. Now, our b in this equation is what? 4. 4. Good job. 4 divided by 2 is? 2. 2? Look at the math. Yeah. All right, now, I told you all the shortcut. Once you get right here, boop. It's a positive 2. Boop. That's your answer. And you have to say boop or else it doesn't count. Boop. Oh, so good. Look at that. That's raw talent. You're going out of high school strength in the program. Probably not. Okay, so let's look at it when we have an equal sign. That was just whenever you have no equal sign, you're just simplifying. Let's try with an equal sign. Let's do um, x squared equals 27 minus 6x. Okay? Now, First thing we've got to do is we've got to get all this junk to the same side. Essentially get it to where it equals zero. Now we could just subtract the x squared over there and then maybe divide everything by negative and get rid of the negative, but I think it would be easier if we just put these little guys over here. So we've got x squared, I'm going to add 6x to get it over here, and then I'm going to subtract 27 to get it over here. Okay? Now, oh sorry, this is one of the ones where we leave it up here. Oops! Okay? Let's leave 27 where it was. Okay? Now, we left 27 over there. Reason is, we can do completing the square to help us solve this. What do I know my b is I'm going to add over here? b over 2, what's my b? 6. 6. I just pointed at it to help you out. Now, now that we have an equal sign, to keep up with the math rules of life, of math rules of life, you cannot add something to one side without adding it to the other okay. side, correct? Yes. Yeah. So, I added all this junk right here, right? So I gotta add that junk over here too. Okay? Let's simplify this fool. You ready? 6 over 2 is? 3. Now, shortcut, shortcut time, remember? Told you all that shortcut, we can use that number. X plus 3, because it goes right there, squared equals, and then I know 3 squared is 9, 27 plus 9 is 36. Okay? Next step, what do I do? I want to find x. That's my goal here. I want to find the x's of this equation. The whole goal of this quadratic equation and doing all this completing the square is so that you can get your x's and you will know where it crosses the x-axis. They call it the x-intercepts. They call it the real roots. They call it the uh, zeros. They call it lots of things. They call it bond. I'm just kidding, stupid. Okay, so what do we do? You read the squared? We, what's up? Square something? Square root. Square root. <clears throat> I mean, I don't even know what to say anymore. I'm so impressed. Now, what did we do? The very first thing we talked about was square roots. It has to be plus or minus. Now, what do I know square root 36 is going to be? 6. I'm just going to put that down there. Is that cool with y'all? Yeah. Cool. Now, at this point, we've got x... Plus 3 equals positive or negative 6. Let me get some room so I can show you what we're going to do next. Okay? We've got x plus 3 equals positive negative 6. Now, it has given us two possible 
realities, I guess. Like an alternate reality. If you watch Lost, this is like the sixth season right here. Okay? You've got two realities going on. Alright? Which I guess technically it wasn't two realities. It was just an afterwards look after they've died. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to split this into two equations. One time using the plus and one time using the minus. X plus 3 equals positive 6. X plus 3 equals negative 6. Solve it. Subtract 3. X equals 3. Subtract 3. X equals negative 9. Boat shakalaka. So these are our two X's. That is where this, that equation, that original equation we had, will cross the X axis at 3 and negative 9. So completing the square comes in handy. Now, there's like six different ways you can solve for these x's. We did it where you can just look at it and you can get the answer and put it down. We did, uh, I don't know, a bunch of other ways. And then we're about to do quadratic formula, which is the easiest in my opinion. But that's just one of the ways is completing the square. Okay? Now, last thing, I want to show you one more way you might see this. Last way you might see this. Um, this is be if you're wanting to write the quadratic function in vertex form. Quadratic function means it's got x squared, quadratic, x squared. And in vertex form, is this little guy, remember you see it, a, x minus h squared plus k, where that's your horizontal translation, vertical translation, that's your vertical stretch of compression. Mm -hmm. All right? Well, we're going to write it in vertex form. You won't see this very often. You won't use this to solve it. The, really, the only time you'll use this is if they say, put it in vertex form. Well, let's do that, okay? Let's say we've got f of x equals x squared plus 10x minus 13, I believe. Yep. Now, essentially what we're going to do is we're going to take this little guy and we're going to separate it from the negative 13. Okay? And we're going to do completing the square with this. Essentially, we're making our own parentheses around this. Okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do completing the square with just those first two. So it'll be x squared plus 10x plus b over 2. What's our b? Oh, that's 10. 10 over 2. Can I go ahead and do 10 over 2? It's 5. five. five. Now, sorry, I meant to use brackets. My apologies. Okay? And then minus 13. Now, here's the problem. You can't just go on and add that crap to an equation, can you? Nope. What does it do? It jacks up your equation like some dude on the street who takes your money. All right? Ooh. It's not, it's going to take... It's going to screw up your equation if you just add something to it. So, the way to equal that out is you, you subtract it. Subtract it from this side. If you've added it, usually we add it to both sides. We don't do it both sides. We want to add it to this side, we're going to subtract it from the same side. It's like this. Say you got 8 and I want to add 2. Cool. As long as I subtract 2, then I can still have 8. I'm not changing it. Okay? So since we added that, I'm going to have to subtract that. Subtract 5 squared. Okay? Here we go. Now, I know this is going to go down to what? What do I know my secret number is? 5. So it becomes squared, correct? <coughs> Can I simplify this? Negative 13, that becomes minus 25, which equals negative 38. And you've got it in vertex form. Why put it in vertex form, you ask? Uh, because then you can look at the vertex, duh. Does anyone still say duh anymore? Yes, I just did. All right. So, vertex form. A, H, my, oh, I'm sorry, not H. X minus H squared plus K. Okay? To find our vertex, we look at our H and our K, correct? Well, what's in the spot of H? I would say 5, but it starts with a minus sign, so it actually was a negative 5 that was in there. And then our k is just what it is, it's negative 38. That right there, negative 5, negative 38, is the vertex of that equation, and that's how you would find it. It's like the worst way ever to find it, I would use one of the other ways, but now you know. Yep, cool, great.